Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for December 6th to the 12th. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. I did post the <clears throat> December monthly reads for each sign. So if you haven't checked that out, feel free to do so. I'll probably tag it somewhere um, in this video and maybe put it on like the end screen. So if you get that far. <laughs> Let's see what's going on for you, Aries. <clears throat> we have one step ahead is all you need, number 41. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have inflow with money, but it's in reverse. Okay, so um, this kind of feels like taking the practical steps to, um, to getting something done. It's almost like... Um, some of you might feel with this inflow and in money, you might feel like maybe things aren't flowing when it comes to your material sense. But I almost feel too that with this one step ahead, it's all you need. It's almost like you just have to be a little bit ahead. Like um, some of you are like almost wanting to have everything all at once right now, um, rather than, you know, it's interesting. We have the nine of pentacles rather than kind of going through, just like going through step by step to, to kind of work through that process. Um, so it's like almost like focusing on the small things will kind of get you to the bigger goal, right? So we have the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Cups, we have Temperance, Three of Wands, the Magician in the center here with Seven of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Pentacles. So bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. There's definitely something about like... Um, going towards something like with your heart and I think that this is like you this really feels like you trying to pursue some sort of goal in your life whatever that is for yourself but it's almost like it's something that is is just you like it's your personal goal and I see you manifesting that because we have the nine of pentacles we have the magician and the ace of pentacles in a diagonal row here so I definitely see you manifesting this new opportunity for yourself and I think it's about like being committed to the process a lot of you are waiting for this to grow, waiting for this abundance, this opportunity to come into your life with this uh, Three of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. And I think a lot of you, again, are going to be manifesting opportunities, but there's kind of this like having to be patient and kind of take your time. Knight of, Pentac or Knight of uh, Cups, sorry, is a, a knight that, like the slowest knight is the Knight of Pentacles. The second slowest is the Knight of Cups. So... It might kind of take you longer than you're expecting, like maybe even the next like one to two months. This is something that you're going to see grow over time. Okay, but I do see you um, staying committed to your goals and what it is that you're trying to create for yourself. And I think that that's what's helping you here. Um, but yeah, like definitely a lot of abundance here, King of Cups and the Empress. A lot of abundance for yourself and... Um, Again, it's like something from your heart that you're trying to create. So I think it's just like focusing on the small tasks for you, Aries, this week. Like focus on the little things. I feel like you have a big goal or a big dream that surrounds this Ace of Pentacles here that you're trying to achieve for yourself, this new beginning, this new, new path. And I think that you will achieve it. It's just that it might take some time. Um, but let's clarify and see. What is this uh, Nine of Pentacles here? We have the King of Wands and the Page of Cups. So yeah, definitely you guys with that King of Wands there. And there could be some communication or an opportunity either you're looking at or you're wanting to take a step towards. We have the Fool at the bottom. And I, again, I feel like it's almost like taking this opportunity, Page of Cups, and now moving forward with it with the Knight of Cups here. Let's see what this Knight of Cups is for you. Why is this Knight of Cups here for Aries? We have the Tower, so definitely creating changes, but bringing in a sense of happiness and fulfillment for yourself. Like, um, you might not have been expecting to move in towards something like this, but you are wanting it to be a change. You are wanting to create change for yourself. Let's see what this Temperance energy is. Again, I just feel like it's almost like gonna take time. You might want it right now. The Tower is like, from a timing perspective, it's like right now. 
Temperance though is is being patient, right? And with the Queen of Pentacles, it's like it's going to take some nurturing, and so that's why I feel like it's not going to happen immediately. Not that you can't take the steps towards it immediately, um, but the actual growth of whatever this is is going to take some time because you're going to have to nurture it here. Um, let's see what this Three of Wands is here for you. Why is this Three of Wands here? We have the moon. I think there's like a little bit too here, Aries, where it's like the in-between is a little bit murky. Like it's almost like, okay, this is the idea. I know the idea of when I what I want to do. I know what my end goal is, but like what are the steps in between? How do I get there? I feel like that is a little bit um, maybe unclear for you as well. I think it's going to be revealed over time. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, when the time is right to take action on something, I think that you'll know. What is the magician here for? The emperor. So definitely in control of this situation, creating your own reality, going within to really figure out what it is that you even want to create. What is this? Seven of Cups. Ace of Cups. So picking, choosing. Again, that clarity I feel is going to come in of like which path is the right path for you to move forward to create this change that you're looking for. Um, there's like this new opportunity. Now, for some of you, it could be love if you're looking for that. Um, but this is going to take time to kind of grow regardless of what it is. This new opportunity is going to take some time. And I think it's like taking the baby steps here. There is definitely a financial component here as well, okay, that I'm noticing. So if there is love, there's also this financial component that is outside, I feel, of the relationship. It's not involved in it. If, um, if there is love kind of in your life right now with regards to what you're looking for guidance on, um, it feels like brand new love, honestly, if that's what it is. Um, but I almost feel like this is just like making a plan, sticking to the plan. But a lot of you too, it's getting clear on the plan. What is the plan? Clarify this seven of pentacles here. We have the chariot, the five of swords, and the eight of swords. So you could kind of get in your head because it's taking too long. I feel like a lot of you, you're not maybe loving that you're having to wait. You want like the immediate result of it i feel like it's coming but you have to be you have to stay committed to the path you have to stay committed to what it is that you're trying to create for yourself um there may be some like learning involved too or like maybe you're guiding others of some sort what's this hierophant yeah page of pentacles that's page of pentacles is the card of being the student um so you could be teaching people or people could be teaching you or you're just learning from this this situation um, there could be some sort of news that comes in or, or communication that also comes in um, maybe somebody who offers you some sort of help or again guidance someone might even bring this opportunity in towards you someone who you would consider like a mentor of some sort what is this ace of pentacles we have temperance and the two of swords again it's like being patient and waiting for this opportunity so you're definitely trying to create something here, Aries, but there's almost this like, I don't want to wait. <laughs> I want it to be right now. But all you need to do, I feel with this card here, it's like all you need to do is be one step ahead. So all you need to do is keep moving forward. And that's going to bring this in. I almost feel like this inflow with money being that it's in reverse. It's like the resistance of I want it right now. It's just letting it happen is more of like what you need to do. There's a little bit of resistance on that side, but it's like there is going to be an opportunity that comes in here and it may come from another person is what I'm picking up on. Um, but there's like this being patient um, because I feel like the more you kind of just let it happen naturally, the more you're actually going to be able to see it as well. Um, so let's see what your advice is. What is the advice for Aries this week? What is the advice for Aries this week with regards to this reading? What does Aries need to know? We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Hanged One, which is the Hanged Man. 
and we have the Four of Pentacles, and then we have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like your advice is to kind of surrender to the process. Again, kind of like what I was already saying is resist those imp that impulsive nature to just like want everything right now. The Knight of Wands is a very like impulsive type energy where it's just like, this is what I want, so I'm going to go get it um, without really thinking about it. So I feel like with the Hanged One and the Hanged Man and the Four of Pentacles, it's like just hold back a little bit of that. Um, and kind of just surrender to the process of it naturally let this opportunity come towards you and i feel like that's going to bring a little bit more flow and i think it's actually going to like things are just going to move better and as long as you're moving forward that's all i would be worried about so as long as there's progress in some regard it might not be the speed that you want it but as long as there's progress in some regard or you're taking small steps that's all you need to do at this point in time so just smoke focus on the small things this week and then the big thing is going to come in later. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Aries. Um, hopefully that resonates for you guys. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out your other signs and as well the December reads. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.